They have 22 countries. You know, we only have one. We're not gonna, we're not gonna compromise in that one country. It's the only one we ever had. For the past few years, a group of young, radical Israeli settlers have been engaged in something called price tag attacks. What these are are random acts of violence and vandalism um, on Arabs, on their property, on their homes that, that are said to be you know, the price of getting in the way of the settlers and their plans. One of those price taggers is Mariah Goldberg, who's a 20-year-old settler, and she recently did three months in jail because she refused to do any community service that she was sentenced to. We're going to meet Mariah right now and some members of her community on the day that she gets out of jail and has a welcoming home party. So we're just outside the, uh, the settlement right now. Um, we're meeting Mariah's brother. We were told if we went in without him, they would uh, smash our cameras. Okay, three houses after the big red house. Got it. Hello, shalom. Hey, how you doing? Danny. Nice to meet you, man. Hi, Danny. Nice to meet you guys. I didn't know you were coming. I mean, my dad told me something about it, but I, and I said I don't know. There you are. There are many, many ways to fight the enemies. Who are the enemies? The Arabs. All of them? Well, not all of them, the, the Arabs. Who thinks that they live in Israel? So. What's your relationship like with the IDF, with the Israeli Defense Forces? You guys. Oh, many, many of my friends in, are in the IDF. Mm -hmm. אבל זה חבר'ה שיודעים מה הם עושים, החבר'ה שהולכים. זה חבר'ה שמסרבים פקודה כשצריך, והם פשוט הולכים לצבא כדי לדעת להילחם. כי כל יהודי צריך להיות גם לוחם, לא רק ללמוד תורה. אם מגיעים ערבים, אנחנו פשוט עושים להם בלאגן עם בכפר, ואז הם מפסיקים להגיע. הם יודעים שאנחנו נחזיר להם, אז הם לא... Sometimes, לפעמים, לפעמים אנחנו צריכים לקחת את החוק לידיים ולהראות להם ש, 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 שלא כדאי להם לעשות את זה עוד פעם. Can you explain to us what these price tag attacks are, what they mean? After Arabs kill Jews and anything wrong that happened, uh, we showed that we won't um, stay in quiet. It has a price. And it's called price, price tag. And it could just be any, any random Arab. Doesn't matter whether they were involved or not? No, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Because they sit here. And because they believe it's theirs. And They're for, all involved. And for you, that's guilty enough, just, just being here. Yes. That makes them guilty, yeah. Yeah, that makes them guilty. Mm -hmm. What did you, can you sort of tell us what you did exactly that, that you got sentenced to jail for? I threw rocks on um, Arabs' car. I don't think I did something bad. So you don't think throwing rocks at, at Arabs is a bad thing to do? I don't think revenge in our uh, Oivim enemies, it's not bad. They hate us. And if we want to still uh, live here safely, like Jews should live here, uh, we need to bring them out of here. But can you, I mean, can you see it from their perspective of some of them have lived here for generations, how they might feel like this land belongs to them? I don't care. I mean, according to the Torah, this is Eretz Israel. It belongs to us. I mean, you don't think there's any way that Arabs and Jews can live here in peace? No. They started a war with us. They don't have the right to stay here. Goy ve Yehudi asur lehem leichol afilu al ato shulchan. It's all, it's all according to, to him. I don't care anything else. This is all You don't care matters. about laws, you don't care about like human rights or any of that. It's all according to the Torah. The Torah has also human rights. Mm -hmm. The real human rights. You know, in the end, um, after we build our big uh, Bet Mikdash, um, you know, these, these people like Mariah and her family and, and the other people here think that, that being on this land uh, is their, their God-given right. And the land where we are right now in the occupied territories, if there's going to be a Palestinian state, this, this will be part of their state.
הייתה חברה קטנה. כל אחד בשלום. אה? כל אחד בשלום. כבר הספיקו להתקשר אליי משם, אני שומעת. I believe I always taught them that you know if you're finding the things that you have to self sacrifice. If people sit around and play with their phones, you know things aren't going to get done. And if the Arabs are are making headway and they're getting a Palestinian state, it's only because they had to self sacrifice, you know, to get arrested, to get shot, you know. And so if they could do that for their cause, you know, certainly Jews have to do it for a true cause. So you're proud of what your daughter's doing? Yeah, I'm proud of it. That specific act she did, I'm proud. But I'm proud that she cares enough about her people and about her land. that she's willing to uh, do, you know, to put herself in harm's way. But you were saying before that it's like a tinderbox here, and it's gonna, it's gonna explode. Don't you feel like, you know, you being here maybe contributes to that feeling? The obstacle to peace isn't me being here. The obstacle to peace is any Jewish state of any size, of any shape, of any form. Mm -hmm. That's the obstacle to peace. And that's why they went to war in 48 and 67, because they wanted to wipe us out then. So I'm not going back to go. You know, if I leave, let's go back to go. No, you started a war. You lost the war. We don't go back to go. Passive, passive resistance, it's not the Jewish. Gandhi, Gandhi wasn't Jewish, all right? A bloodthirsty enemy like the Arab enemy is in this country, that's a time for war. It's not a time for passive resistance. And to tell you the truth, if Gandhi you know, laid himself in front of a, an Arab tank instead of a British tank, you know, the only thing that would have been left was his loincloth. We just left Mariah's homecoming right now. And while it may seem almost like a small thing, these, these racist anti-Arab attacks, these stone-throwing incidents, these things do have a tendency to escalate. This place is such a tinderbox that even these, these little things can eventually lead to, to murder, to killings, to kidnappings, and sometimes they can lead to an actual war.